Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about React and Auth0 and then further we will be talking about React, Next.js, Auth0 and Next.js integration. These are the, the four major pillars which for which we will be talking about in next couple of videos like React with Auth0, Next.js with Auth0, React uh, JS with Auth0 organizations, how we are managing users in Auth0 and then social connections, logging with SSO and then once you are able to log in, then how you can validate your APIs with the access token, which is provided by Auth0. So all those things will be in stack for a couple of days. So I already put uh, some code snippet around Auth0 integrations and uh, we are going to just clone this repository and fill in the gaps and understand how we can integrate Auth0 uh, with React Simple React App, which is client side rendered application. So we will just clone this application. This is application we just have cloned and uh, already we have integrated with Auth0. So what library we are using here is Auth0 Auth React. This library is already added in the NPM. What you need to do is just hit NPM install. So you get all the dependencies downloaded. And then we will just play with the client side rendered basic routing and how we can protect some of the pages. So there will be a public page and a private page. Private page will be protected you can access only after you log in with Auth0 and then there will be login, logout. So this is our main file and uh, here we are going to add uh, the route. So in the routes, we have a simple three different routes. One is a public route, which is the home route. And then we have two private route or you can say we will just protect them because you can access them only once you are logged in. So the routes are like home page and then the, there is a profile page and uh, one is the api route when you hit a forward slash you will see the landing page which shows you the navbar bar and a simple landing page hero page and here it, you can see this is the header which is divided into two different parts which is the main nav which contains the your top link which contains like okay these are the different uh, apis with the nav link nav link is a, a react router dom component which is used to create a link so when you click on to them you navigate to that particular route okay and then there is a nav bar Authnav is just a simple authentication button. So that will decide, okay, if you are already authenticated. So now here we are using Auth0, use Auth0. It's actually hook, which is coming from Auth0, Auth React. These are the hooks which are required. So we need to determine, do we need to show the login button or the logout button? That we can just determine from is authenticated. And that's an internal. Once the session exists from Auth0, it will say is authenticated true. You can just show the logout button, not then you will just show the login button so it will just flip between login and logout based on this hook which we are using use auth0 so use auth0 hook provide as the user is authenticated it also provide you to a mechanism to access the silent token access the access token and id token okay now we'll go to our home page here every time when you so use auth0 you will see at many places what it is doing is it is checking if you are in, in loading state or if you are already logged in all these things so here we will just replace that to the protected route because one route is public and both the other routes are protected this is uh, the protected route i mean here we are just rendering a child component so here we are using with authentication required that is coming from auth0 auth0 required so if you try to navigate to this private component private route when you are not logged in you will be redirected back to the loading so this is the fallback and this is the check that you cannot access the protected route. Okay, then these are the two credentials I have populated Auth0 app domain and React app Auth0 client ID. This is how you populate the env variable. And from here, this is the my Auth0 console. Here we are going to create application for Auth0. So I just created a simple application. I got the, the domain and the client ID. This is the important uh, segment of the whole demo is we are creating a Auth0 provider. Auth0 provider is actually wrapper and all the child component will come under it. What this component is, this component provide a mechanism in which you can configure. This is where the React uh, Auth client ID, audience and domain are being used. Here we are using Auth0 provider which is being imported from Auth, Auth React. You can see at line 16, Auth0 provider we are passing domain, client ID, redirect URI and audience. And the whole application is inside this provider and this is our profile page in this profile page we are able to access the user object once you are logged in so we are using use auth auth0 so this hook is everywhere either you want to access the user you wanted to know if this stage is loading if you wanted to know if you are logged in or not 
everywhere we are using the same custa same use auth hook and here you can populate the whole profile and the another thing is the external api so external api we can see when you wanted to talk to external apis with the audience that we will see in the next video now let's see how we are creating application on auth0 go to regular web app and just choose a single web application okay just create it will just give you the everything i mean it will populate the settings which will give you the domain tenant domain and the client id and rest all the inf information like origin callback url and the application logout url all these things we need to enter application login uri callback url and the logout url so enter all these informations uh, login uri uh, logout uri and the callback url this can be simple local host uh, http local host 3000 that is the port where your front end react application is running web origin i'm going to paste uh, same everywhere now if we can look at the other uh, configurations like connections connections are username password authentication true if you want to enable any social authentication also you can just toggle this so you can also show users to log in with google or any social provider so this is our react application we can just uh, change the environment port to 3000 and our run our application so we just need a client id and a domain in the environment variable 10 uh, audience we don't need right now because we are not talking about api authorization so sign in with auth0 when you click on to the login we will be redirected back here and here you can if your user exists in auth0 you can log in with that so here we can also enable some social connections like i enabled a login with google from the connections tab so now i should see login with google when you click on login with google i will be presented with this domain i mean login with google and i will just continue and i should be able to enter into the application so this is how a simple login so this is the consent screen i will click on accept and i should be able to enter into the application and on the profile page i can see my whole profile gets populated from auth0 login so this is actually the session information which auth0 has on the client side here it I contains everything so this is a simple demo i mean uh, i'm not i haven't written lots of code i can share the same repository and the same settings now what is next let's say we got the access token and id token first we will try to look into what is access token and what is id token then we will talk about auth0 organization we will talk about how we can use this access token to validate our apis so we need to register a apis on auth0 so that when you get this token you can use this token to get validated by the api server and you can get the data from that so there is an external api tab which we haven't used in this demo we will create our nest.js backend or express node.js backend and we will pass this access token which we are getting in the react frontend and we will uh, validate that okay you got this token from the the right tenant right client id and we will allow user to read and write data